The other thing too, as a writer, I think that I always, I, I, that it's not what happened, but why that's often important to me. And when I wanted to work out why within this household at this time, um, this judgment was made and how Belle could have influenced this, I chose not to tell it through just the household, but by making a love story. Because um, I often find or believe that um, that love, f people falling in love, can be the sort of the, the the catalyst that brings change. I felt and still feel that it's um, it is a lovely story that these two girls were brought up as la happy, giggling girls, and they could be because they were cocooned by their wealth and privilege. And so they could have this fantasy world, and that was why it was very important in the story that we told that we then brought in the outside world into their Arcadia, which then uh, sort of disrupted everything. Um, I loved the idea that they would be friends, and I loved the idea that through their various relationships and love affairs, that love and bond is tested, and that in the end, though, that they, they stayed sisters. There, in an 18th century picture, was a black woman and a white woman standing side by side. The black woman is a little behind, but she's nevertheless not in any way a slave. The paintings we know from, the, from that period, you would normally have a you know, little black mannequin in some way. She wasn't that. I, I was struck by her, her grace, her, her beauty, but there was a very, there was directness in her gaze out of that painting that spoke to me. It is just so frustrating a lot of the time when you're dealing with, it's frustrating but also rather wonderful for the writer that sometimes when we're dealing either with women in history, or indeed black women in his, black people in history, that we don't hear their voices. So we sometimes have to give them voices, and I feel that's what I've done.